we are gonna go over how to back up your Mac computer using Time Machine. So Time Machine is a program that's installed by default on a Mac. Generally, your newer type of Macs will have Time Machine uh, installed by default. And all you need to do is plug in an external hard drive or a USB stick, which is what I've done here, and you'll be able to back up your computer. So the first thing you want to do is if you've just purchased a new external drive, for example, or you have a drive handy, I'd recommend formatting that drive first. Okay, so you'll see that I've already plugged it into my USB port. So we want to go into the spotlight here and look for disk utility. So you'll see that's shown up there. All right, so let's open disk utility up. And it's going to present me with the internal hard drive a couple of other drives that I have connected, and then this two gig drive, which is the one that I want to use. So I would generally recommend you to use a bigger drive, but just for this demonstration, I'm going to use a smaller drive because that's what I have available. But I would recommend a bigger drive because essentially you want to be able to have enough storage on your external hard drive to back up your entire computer. Okay, so if you have a one terabyte hard drive like I do, you may want to get a two or a three terabyte external hard drive because you'll have different versions and you know certain files will be backed up you know from certain months etc so you want to have a bigger drive than what you currently have so we've got the two gigabyte drive and what we want to do is we want to format it okay so you select your drive go into arrays let's format it in mac os extended and we'll call it time machine and arrays Alright, so that's going to format that drive and make sure that everything is offered, everything is cleared and there's nothing else on that drive that could interfere with anything. Automatically, because it's just ref ref freshly been formatted. So you can choose at this stage if you want to use it as a backup drive or not. Just for this exercise, we're gonna say no, we're gonna do it the long way. You can select this and it'll go and set up certain things automatically, but let's just say decide later. So we wanna open up system preferences, which is either in your dock or inside your Apple system preferences menu at the top here. So let's open that up. You'll see Time Machine listed here. We'll select Time Machine. Now Time Machine, uh, for you will probably be off by default, so we just leave it off for now and we want to select the disk that we want to use. Now you'll see it's detected my other drives, we don't want to use these two, we want to use the one that we have called Time Machine. Okay, and we want to say use disk. Alright, so that's now by default going to start to back up the entire computer except for your external disks. Okay, so you'll see that I've got these other USB disks it's not going to back those up, it's only going to back up your local hard drive. The other thing that you can do is you can actually select options here, down the bottom, and select what you do and don't want to get backed up. Okay, so by default, you'll see that it'll exclude my external two drives and the actual Time Machine USB stick as well. Okay, you can also say plus and select a drive that you do not want to get backed up. Okay, so if you've got, you know, let's say a hard drive full of movies in the movies folder that is too large perhaps and you don't necessarily need to back them up because you've got them on DVD or something like that, you, you can just select the movies folder and say exclude. Or you can select the documents folder if, you, if there's things in there that you don't want to get backed up and just say exclude. And that will actually add that to the exclude list. So that will now back up everything on your computer except for this. All right, and that's essentially it. So now by, by default, Time Machine will start to back up your computer and we'll have a look at the next bit on how to do a restore. So once Time Machine has finished its backup, you'll be up to date and you'll be backing up uh, pretty often throughout the day if your computer's on or when you turn it on, um, say in the evening or in the morning, it'll do a backup as well. And it'll just keep that up to date over a number of uh, months and years, depending on how big your hard drive is. So let's just say I want to restore 
a file. So I've deleted a file by accident from my desktop. I know that it was back in August, so I'm now we're now in October. So I want to go back two months and restore. So you'll see that I've got a time machine icon here. So if I select that, it's going to open up the finder and it's going to go into this little spacey sort of mode with all the dates back here. So you'll see that my backups started around January at the start of 2014 is when the backups, uh, when I configured this first drive. So you'll see that at the moment, there's nothing really in here. I've just got a Dropbox folder and a shortcut. Okay, so I know that in August, let's say August the 5th, there was a file in there. So it's gonna go all back in time and bam, look, there's a file in there from August the 5th that I want restored. Okay, so I select that file and I click on restore. And give it a little while. So that's now going to search that hard drive and bam, it's restored. So now that file has been restored to the desktop uh, currently. And that's how you restore a file.